Well, and sometimes a sweet month. And one thing is maple walnut cake. That is a very sweet cake. So um, I'm going to be making a maple walnut cake today. It's really, it's really something some Grandma Liz would sometimes make for Thanksgiving. She didn't always do it, but sometimes she would do it. It's a delicious, wonderful cake. So what I want to do now is I have one and one half sticks of butter, of unsalted butter. Make sure it's soft. You really want your butter soft when you make this. Okay, nice and soft. I'm adding in brown sugar. One. It's a sweet cake, folks. I'm warning you. And one half cups of brown sugar. It's brown sugar because it's the way it's made. You don't use white sugar in this at all. Maybe for the frosting, I'm not even sure. Now we're going to mix this together. Three eggs, folks. Yeah, fall is a wonderful time. This maple comes from New England, from the maple tree. And it's really fantastic. There's a lot of chunks of butter in here because this is butter based. Three eggs. Now, I've been to New England several times. I'm going to add in one more egg. Then when it got to the milk, oh yeah, we got to add in the syrup. Syrup. You should use all natural syrup, but you can use Aunt Jemima. Aunt Jemima and I have been with each other for many, many years. All right. I'm adding in one tablespoon of maple syrup. This is what's going to make it really sweet, folks. Oh, and it's sticky. Yeah, I remember going to New England and, oh, three more places to go. I'm actually going to pour this New England maple walnut cake on the New England because that's where the syrup comes from, the maple trees up in New England. And by the way, folks, we passed the fall foliage. We just passed the peak. Oh, folks, it smells so good. Oh, now I'm going to add in just a drop of maple extract. Just going to make it really mapley. Oh, just a little bit. You don't want to put too much in here. Mix this together. Oh, folks, you know what I almost forgot? We're calling it maple walnut cake, right? I almost forgot the walnuts. All right, now adding in a, a cup of milk. Okay, one cup of whole milk. We're gonna actually alternate with the dry, but I don't wanna forget the milk. That's how dumb I am. Thinking about beautiful New England. Oh, folks. I'm now adding in two cups of flour. Oh, wait, we might as well do the milk first. We can do that. There we go. Use whole milk, folks. Don't worry about it being overly liquidy. It's nothing to worry about, folks. I haven't added it to dry yet. I'm now going to add in two cups of flour. Yeah, many years ago, I went to New England with my mom and dad. Because my brother was attending a college up there, and what a beautiful area, what a beautiful state. Okay. Here we go. Two cups of flour. I'm now adding in the baking powder and the soda. I'm adding in one teaspoon of each. There we go. Make sure we have it. Yep. One teaspoon of soda. One teaspoon of baking powder. Someday, folks, I'm telling you, I would love to go back to New England. I'm just too lazy to go back up there. How beautiful it is up there. Okay. I'm just going to get a spoon out across this thing. Okay, we're going to mix this together. Now, we're going to add it into the, into the wet. There we go. Just a minute. It's going to be better to use the battery, not to work. Okay. 
Don't, don't worry about it if it's liquidy. My cake batter is supposed to be. Mix, mix, mix. Now I'm going to wear my walnuts. I would say about a good cup of it. Fold. Fold it in. Oh, this is, looks so beautiful already, folks. Now we're going to grease the pan. Use parchment paper when you make any kind of cake, folks, because cake can stick like it can stick and you cannot get it up and you really have a really good and you don't want to have that anything stick on you. I melted a little bit of unsalted butter. A little bit, you don't need a lot. A little bit, a little bit. And I'm trying to prevent it from sticking. To, even, you know, it's funny, even with parchment paper, things can stick. You never know. There we go. This is definitely an honor of New England because it's where it came from here. Yeah. And the maple trees in New England. We have maple trees in New Jersey too. And I think they all just peaked. We came to the peak about a week ago. Make sure nothing gets out. I don't trust any of this at all. There we go. There we go. You have no idea how this smells. Oh. All right. I'm going to say put 45 minutes in the oven. Okay. We're making maple frosting. Folks, I'm warning you this is a sweet dish. One tablespoon of unsalted butter. And I'm telling you, it's a very sweet dish. Okay. A little bit of butter. Now, what I want to do now is I'm going to grab my sugar. Now, we're going to start with a half a cup of powdered sugar. Because I'm telling you, folks, this is so sweet, folks. It's just really sweet, folks. A little powdered sugar. The whole house smells like maple, folks. You have no idea how wonderful it smells in this house. Oh, my gosh. Okay. There's not going to be a lot of fluffing, folks. But the reason is the cake is sweet enough. You don't want it really sweeten this up too much. Now, I'm going to also add in some milk. I'm going to start with a half a cup. And we're going to see how that goes, folks. I'm going to drizzle it in, and we're going to mix it together, and I'm going to add in the maple stuff. This is what's going to turn it into a maple wall, a maple frosting. You know why it's not going on? I forgot to plug it in. Okay. Now, this comes from New England, folks. Okay, just going to mix it together, and I'm going to start drizzling in the milk. It's very liquid. You might have to add more sugar, and we don't know yet. Yeah. Yeah, look what you got is. You don't want that. It, looks, it doesn't look too appealing. You have to keep, you have, it's very hard to figure. You have to keep adding in sugar. It's very sweet, folks. There we go. There we go. Much better. Much better. And you have to keep adding in, adding in, adding in. I'm not done yet adding in my sugar yet, folks. You know, it's, it's still too watery. I'm not going to add in a drizzle of syrup and probably more sugar. This, I'm warning you, this is sweet. Here we go. By tablespoon of maple syrup. Here we go. Very, very sweet. A little bit more sugar. But I want to get a little bit more thicker, folks. It takes time to really get the right consistency of any kind of frosting. All right. Should be just enough. There we go. This is what we want to taste. Beautiful. And just a drop more sugar, folks. It's just getting the right consistency, folks. I would say, folks, I hate to taste at least a good cup of, of, of powdered sugar, and that should definitely take care of it. There we go. Okay. It's very liquidy, but what we're going to do is we're going to put it in the refrigerator. All right, let me grab a spatula. All right. Like I said, syrup comes from New England. That's where it comes from. There we go. See, it's very, very, very moist. It's very liquidy, but it's fine. Because I'm going to be adding in nuts in a minute. 
Oh, it's very sticky. We, we, you don't want to put too much forcing on, folks. I think we get out. There we go. Doesn't look good. Now we're going to get to the top. There we go. Now we're going to get the rest out. It's very lippity, folks, but delicious. I'm trying to eliminate too much frosting, folks, because it's so uh, sweet. Oh, folks, it smells delicious. Oh. Keep spreading it, spreading it, spreading. We're going to put it in the refrigerator in just a little while after I put over the nuts. We're going to put, they're going to garnish it with nuts in a minute. Oh, folks, it smells delicious. Oh. And here we have a delicious maple walnut cake with maple frosting. Now we have to put this in the refrigerator and chill this for several hours so the frosting has a little time to thicken. Deborah Wade's Home Country Kitchen. This is in honor of New England. From Deborah Wade's Home Country Kitchen. Have a great day. Please subscribe to our wonderful YouTube channel.